Okay, now let's talk about um, some arpeggios, some of the classic things that um, you hear Wes Montgomery playing in, in so much of his music. Let's look at a C minor chord on the 8th fret. And let's look at the C minor pentatonic scale that goes along with that. Um, that C minor pentatonic scale is derived from this shape. not familiar with that if you go to the bonus section where it talks about soloing and you pull up the PDF file um, I believe it's where it says 8th the 10th fret it's going to show you that shape it's going to be in D minor it's going to be up a um, whole step but you can just transpose the shape down and uh, then you'll be in C minor on the right left side of the page will be this shape and on the right side of the page directly across from it will be the pentatonic scale so um, in any case what you've probably heard is you've heard um, some riffs that Wes does that are like uh, and I've seen a lot of people play these in this way what I'm doing is I'm playing this major seventh chord and I'm just going down it using my octaves again on the higher notes I'm using one and four then I switch to the two, one and four three that having been said don't play it that way because um, I can do that but that isn't what's happening what's happening is taking this shape then sliding it down there. Again, I look at the top finger. And be, because um, I could do the other way fairly fast, but now if I use this fingering, I can go like, which is what's happening if you listen to enough of Wes stuff, you're going to hear that riff in octaves all over the neck. Um, so, in any case, uh, what I'm doing here, is, that's a D, and then I'm switching to the next set of the strings, and I'm playing the B flat, and I'm going down to the G, then I'm going to go back, now I'm on the E flat, now I'm back down to the D, I'm sliding. Now what I'm doing is I'm I'm crossing the neck. I'm going through different octaves. And then I'm going to do I'm going to do the exact same riff. So I'm covering a lot of horizontal space. Sorry about that. So that that really uh, good exercise. So these are shapes that are based on this um, type of a minor chord. I can go down this scale.
So you can experiment with different things. You can take any kind of riff that you um, may come up with and try to work it across that pattern. I can make a pattern infinitely more uh, interesting by adding a note below it or above it. I can go like... come up with a lot of different things. So uh, that's some ideas on how you can work around that particular um, chord or shape and using slides, incorporating these slides. Um, so uh, hang in there, I'll be back shortly.